Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Bad. In today's video, we're back with XCOM Chimera Squad. Uh, we are. We can stop a bank robber, which I feel like is directly connected to this since we know that they're in need of money. We don't have a freeze or a vigilance to bring down these districts. What does this one have? Plasma grenade. Nothing I want. The only issue I really want is not to have the unrest go so high. I wanted to do this investigation because otherwise we're dealing with that whole, what is it? Five day right now or seven days, but this is going to bring it down to five. So we're going to be able to manage that unrest a little better. It's the same team as last time. So it shouldn't be too bad of a mission to do. The progeny are robbing the bank. Keep them out of the vault. Okay. So I assume if we they do get into the vault, we probably have to extend it to two encounters to go in and get them out. That's new to this entrance automatically activates Overwatch. We'll have Axiom lead through and Blue Blood comes second with the ceasefire bomb. And then he'll be in Overwatch. And we'll make this one go last. And I have nowhere else to put the hollow scanner. Hard to hit minus damage during the breach. Successful shots will crit. Okay. We're not getting a hollow scan at this entrance, but I think that's fine. The ceasefire should be enough. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, well, see, the only issue is when it, the ceasefire bomb goes off. I don't know who, I guess th this one's still going to be shooting since it has the little shot thing next to it, like the crosshairs, but I'm not sure. I think that was the side that stunned, right? No, we just didn't have an angle on them, I guess. Both of these shots are going to go on this dude. I guess. I don't know what this little marker means compared to that. Because we did have the ceasefire bomb come through. Um, he's panicked. Or she's panicked. There it goes again with the silent pistol. Or the si silent bullet with no visuals. So yeah, I guess even if they're if they're aggressive but don't have a um have a crosshairs, then we'll be fine. And this number A dude is right in our face. It's funny how Axiom ducks underneath him like he's being polite and knew they were gonna shoot. Oh, I guess they just gave him his shot back. This will go off before both of them though. We're barely not hitting either of these two. I think we're only not hitting. He's only not hitting himself because of this barrier right here. Did it just say he was ruptured? Nah. Okay. Who else going to say for a second? Do rapid fire on number eight. If we land both shots, then we'll kill for sure. Now, when he recocked that gun, both his hands were out of sync, right? And then also his hand wasn't even on the gun. That other gun is the exact same color as the ground behind it, because I definitely, definitely didn't look like it was in his hand. So these are made into subservience during the turn. I did panic Axiom, but that's fine. It's definitely fine now, too, because he just got a free shot. Although we might lose this whole turn. He put his gun back up. I got scared. Put acid right here on both of them. And she's still panicked too, so she might lose her turn anyways. I don't know why she's trying to move, but that's fine. And you can use tongue pull. You will get them next time. I'm the number two person. Get over here. And you can go ahead and bind them and take them out of the turn over. Pretty much kill them too. Go ahead. There we go. And that's pretty much just it for this whole thing. He lost his turn, but that's fine. Your dead eye's gonna hit, so we're gonna deal damage no matter. Ooh, your body like literally crumpled up and like rolled over. Okay, we have to deal with an onslaught then. We have people coming in. The these 
doors. So I'll put them over here. All right. I'll put you deck. Nah, I can't put you all the way over there. So I'll put you around this corner and have you over watching here. That way you have cover from this angle. Watching my zone. Good looking out. Uh, can I release the bind? Can I subdue from this corner? Cause that's where I want her to be. So you subdue from right here. That gives her cover from that angle. Even though we can't have our overwatch right now, she still does have the cover. Out of the way. His panic was removed immediately, so I don't have to worry about that. Didn't use Adrenal Surge, but I can't just use Psycho. I lost this first turn, that's why. Still, I probably should have started with Adrenal Surge, but either way, we'll just enter Overwatch. Nobody's watching this door, so you can do that one. Although, technically, Blue Blood is watching all of them. Kill it. Missed. Kill it. Alright. Don't know why I did that angle, too, but I guess it still makes sense. Well, we only got two in, okay. You use dead eye. We hit this one, we'll kill it. Cool. And then we'll go for a normal shot here since we don't need to use lightning hands. Or I can use subdue. Which I'd rather do since we're going to overwatch after using subdue. You're under arrest. I am low on ammunition. Uh you can reload, because I'm not gonna move you, so you can just reload and then go into overwatch. For targets. If only you were a better shot. That's a that's a that's a good point. Should be a pretty good shot if you're gonna be in Overwatch to protect your teammates. I think at this angle, yeah, we can get her covering all the doors. So he's he's covering that one. I think I put him on. He's definitely covering that one at least. He might have an angle over there, but I'm hoping he doesn't. Which is weird because you want your people to have angles everywhere. But whatever, doesn't matter. Sounds like everyone's gonna die. Clearing the board. I don't see how though. Unless they come way out here and Blue Blood does have an angle. Oh no, forgot she has an angle. Why'd she say leave some for me if she was gonna kill them? Well done. Uh just move him slowly to this position. This is where I'd rather have him actually. That puts him in a better angle for both of these doors. And you can overwatch this door again well i could put him in better cover to overwatch that door instead of where i have him now you have the best angle right now and then you can stay overwatching this first door uh yeah Covering. cool He says deep breaths like he's taking a breath before each of his shots. The man literally just drops, turns in a circle and shoots everybody as one of his abilities. Ooh, another unharmed mission. Shwadri may have may be desperate for money, but they just suffered an expensive failure. If they sent their best team to rob this bank, the second best isn't the, isn't going to cut it. Because Lord knows this ain't the best team. Zephyr. Would definitely be on the team before Claymore is. And Shelter would probably be back on the team over somebody. It's gonna be yeah. Fourteen Stellar Origin. Please select the best descriptor. Terrestrial born on Earth, extraterrestrial, born off planet and Earth res resident prior to twenty thirty five. That's exoterrestrial. Extraterrestrial born off planet and Earth resident as of or after twenty thirty five. Unsure. You qualify for exception 8, 18E of the Interregnum Council Charter. City from City 31 Saving and Trust Small Business Loan Application. Interesting. I assume the people who are ex exoterrestrial won't get it as these days people who are extraterrestrial. And then if they're not using race as in the color of your skin and it's... That includes my detention center. Hot meals and a roof over our heads. Better than we had it in the war. Speak for yourself. Advent ceilings didn't leak. 
until the resistance blew holes in them. Rebel goon. Despotic flunky. Ah, Damn. Young love. Anyways, oh, we have an anarchy event to do. And we have time to do it. So I guess that's what we're we'll doing next. I don't need that Alirum, so I'll still save the Dragnet. Well, actually, that's all Dragnet's really used for. I'd still rather get Enzo with that instead of uh those things. Anyways. The if we start if America not even America, if the planet stopped using races in the color of your skin or where you were born and started using it as its actual term of a different type of thing, basically. Then, yeah, I guess that works. It, terrestrial would keep the usual minorities safe, such as black people, like Godmother and uh, Blue Blood. Anyways, that doesn't really matter. Oh, we have stuff that's idle still. Shelter is idle. Does Blue Blood have training? Twerk doesn't. Claymore does. Heavy ordnance don't know. Oh, wait. Grenade items gain a bonus use. Effects support grenade effects support grenades not just offensive ones grenade items gain a bonus use interesting so i guess he's bringing two of them now like two of them per encounter instead of one per encounter shelter can go back on the team we didn't use that new uh thing we got either shelter already has crucial symmetry so you can have the surly constant and that's it have dangerous contraband get it back all right we can't use any of our breach abilities besides just entering there's no doors for axiom to go through successful shots will surprise run and gun on their first turn i think that's going to be shelter yes yeah, shelter would be good to have run and gun for their first turn and you can use the running gun ability yeah i mean because Axum can use it no matter what. So I don't want to give him two buttons for it. Or like it ma ma mix over the button that he already has. And then I would not get it. Or just use the running gun ability when I don't want to. So that means. Almost said Zephyr. Twerk and Shelter both have the running gun ability on their first moves. I just have to remember to use them. Use Toxic Greening on whoever has the most health. Go for the Necromancer actually. Interesting. She shot it that way and it curved out there. But considering if she shoots a poisoned enemy, she has a bonus chance to crit. I guess it doesn't matter. Because obviously her and poison have something together. Oh, you can go for a lance shot. On, no, that doesn't change anything. You can go for a uh, normal on them still. And I, you can just shoot at whoever, I guess. Still landed it 41%. This is making that 90 whatever miss feel a lot worse, actually. Because if, if someone can hit a 41 with a shotgun from that range, I can't remember. Well, shotgun, I know, has the worst range. So whatever the other weapon was, I know this one was, wasn't as good. They're going to be immune to that, I think. Which I wasn't paying attention to. I should have noticed that. And you can tongue pull. Who's trying to leave right now? Well, who's next too? Number three is next. Number two is way in the back. They're also going for no. That's the exit they need to be at. They're going for the exit. I'm trying to tongue pull the number three. Oh wait, I have running gun. It's kind of too late to use it though. Oh, I can move into the poison. If the poison was closer, I can move into the poison. But I can't even use running gun right now. I still wanna use it though. Cause I have it. Go ahead and activate it. You move over here. Covering ground. Since everyone who's gonna have their turn more recently is over here, I can deal with the other people later. Uh, unleash a hail of bullets that is guaranteed to hit your target, but uses a lot of ammunition. I can go for the shot on number two, which is what I moved here to do anyways. Because they had the raised chance of uh, critting, doing critical damage. I probably should give her the, the talent rounds actually. 
because she can use her poison spit to poison somebody. Pull back if you need to. Anyways, he has running gun also. Let you take one ability after dashing. So who's next? Number three? No, I want to teleport. I'll teleport with the number two to move them down in the turn. But I don't like where I am still. So I use running gun first. Moving back to here. Don't want to use this quite yet. Plus, I don't have a pretty good group up of people. Like, I might get those two, but that won't be that big of a deal. Like, I could just use Soul Fire on the number two, dude. All that I did just group everybody up right here. So, I do kind of want to use this right now, though. Don't, I don't think we have that angle. Then I can use it on Torque, and she can take someone out of this next batch of turns. I feel like blue blood might be able to kill them though if he can kill them we don't have to worry about them later either and he'll get more people out now there's a land shot lined up right there too oh that gives it immediately okay don't care about you two okay then who's the 83 go for the bruiser then Got the hostile. and we have lightning cans don't care about the four or the five the number two will go for a shot on. Okay, cool. So he's landed all his shots so far. And then phase lance is guaranteed to hit. And then he's still going to get his turn right after the number two person. Or pretty much right now, actually, since I'm going to use soul fire on number two. If it does, if it's not going to kill either way. Although I can't do anything besides shoot at him, and I'm pretty sure my chances to shoot are way lower. Let's do it like this, then. Let you hurt my friends. So that still gets them out of the turn oh, order. God. And now we only have one person All taking right, the turn instead of four right there. Uh, You can use Deadeye and the number four person. And who's left? Three and five. And three is going for the exit. Have him move up to here, right? And we should have a good angle overwatching the exit. You can use Adrenal Surge and psych up. Who wants some? Ready for action. Wired up. On the edge. And then you can go use smash on them and we're hoping for an effect of some sort that'll uh on, get to safety. either disorientate them or stun them disorientate sometimes they move funny instead of towards their exit especially when they're not trying to shoot or if they go for a shot it's gonna miss because they're disorientated and that's usually what happens when you're disorientated can't aim too well um yeah we managed to land both of those and we stunned the number four so all we have to do is number worry about the number two but they're dead anyways you go to your head. and you can just use subdue on them we'll, we'll just beat them up until they go down basically hopefully it just gives it to me on one hit because it's stunned so it's really going to be the same move right after that all right first you knew those entrance will have their weapon disabled all units of those entrance get plus 25 aim uh, all you all non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised uh enemies are harder to hit here though where's the healing because we need to put everybody through the same entrance to heal i can put him through the main door actually but he won't be able to heal if i do that but i him here with the healing and torque I don't want to hollow scan this entrance though, so I'll switch torque. Especially since enemies are supposed to be harder to hit. I feel like this is gonna try and oh, I could have just had him heal himself and then ran someone through the door. I assumed everybody else was damaged. I could have just checked their health. Oh well. Plus he heals two per turn anyways. Definitely didn't have to do that. 
yeah, let's go for the shot. Either someone has a stock on the team where I have a stock in my other save. Again, I can't remember. It's a graze there, but he's going to die from the poison anyways. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to die from the poison. So I kind of want to take the shot just to spread this damage out some more. Go for the thrall. And he went for Axum, who just shrugged it off, so it wasn't even a problem. Cannot see him back there. The man is huge, though. Now, we can start literally juggling the turn order with Shelter. And relocate with... Can we see the number two person? We can. And relocate with them. What, what did they go now? They go fourth now. I need a turn coat grenade in here. Can I get both of them? No, because that door is closed. That bed is why. But I can't use a turn coat on both of them. One has a shotgun and one has an assault rifle. Both do pretty good damage. Look out. I'm glad he shot first in case the bomber turns and shoots. The uh the dude who was finna die anyways. Chain shot? Take a shot with an aim penalty of 15%. If you hit the target, you take another shot on the target automatically. I guess I could go for that on the number five person, right? Well, not five, but whoever the bomber is. This dude. That's my highest chance, but they'll die. They'll die on a shot too. They'll die on a shot also. Only person who might not die is the 78% chance. But if that's really the case, then I'll go for this person. No, wait, not them. They're gonna die on their turn. So I'll go for them instead. We're just a normal shot. Nobody needs to no one needs two shots to die. Solid hit. And they're rushing for the exit, it looks like. Yeah. Okay. She doesn't have any grenades. She does have a med kit she could use. They're gonna die in their turn. Then it's gonna go to Axiom's turn. The number six person's gonna go before them. So I kinda wanna I wanna use subdue to take this person out. That's why I put him there. But subdue really will work best from this angle and not have cover for those two. That leaves her open to the six and the five. And after this, she'll be at the end of the turn order. Everything I could do will end the turn, except for just move somewhere for no reason. So I'll just use some do here. I do it from this angle. That way, everything doesn't have an open shot to her. For some reason, he only took one damage from the poison too. I shouldn't have been banking on that as hard as I was, but they're the berserk, so they still don't get the turn. He does have the ability to use running gun, which could get him all the way up to here. But I don't have a sense of urgency to do that anymore since I didn't put uh Twerk out in the open like that. This is a good enough chance to take shot chance on a shot to take from here. But both of these two are going next, which is why I was gonna move up actually. So move up to here. Incoming. What are your shot chances here? 38. They're hunkered down, I think, though. And then this one's 76. Let's go for this one. It's gonna feel Boston bad when Axiom great. finally misses a like he's gonna miss a decent shot before he misses a 41 or something. Locking target down. I think that's okay. Besides the damage he took, him staying in that position isn't a problem. And since he can't move, he just returned fire. Now you can you see this bomber? You can. All right, cool. Cool. That's good. Because now I can use subdue. And that also puts him in overwatch and probably a better position to hit the number nine person. 
All right. I expected more than just that from the move. There's, are they still poison? It doesn't look like they are. If that one has more health and I want to swap places with this one. Ooh, that's, that's terrible. I'll take it. Not how that sh I thought that shot was going to be used, but that's still fine. Not instead of that use of his shot. And this will push them down to the turn order too. So we have three people back to back now. Two of which can probably take out somebody. Who can you see? I move up here. You can see everybody now. And who's gonna be next after them? Actually, I'll just take the resonate. Get over here. Because they're full health. I think in this stage she will release the bind. No, she doesn't. Wait, will she? Uh, bind does more damage. Toxic greeting. Poison immunity. Spraying. I, I don't know. I can't remember which one corresponded to not letting go when you take damage. But yeah, there's his region. Technically, I could use. Nah, there's no point to use Quake. I was going to say, technically, I could use Quake for whatever, but. He can't even move, so I'd have to use Quake on the spot. Then those two aren't actually grouped up, and the other dude is just by himself. You do good work. Moving to location. That's weird. They're like drifting around. Now we can just have everyone use subdue on them till they go out. Is down and out. Cool. So far, no one's been able to escape either, so that's good too. 28 minutes so we're not gonna be too far over we're not even working we're not even gonna be over for real i said over like i have a set time for these videos or set length now i don't know what his rage is first you knew those entrance is guaranteed to land a shot that's gonna be pretty good for a shotgun shelter has the scanner where's the explosives just remove shelter we just blew up into the last room, so we don't have the explosives at all. And we use the hollow scanner, so we use the ceasefire now. Shelter doesn't have anything. He used to have the hollow scanner. Follow me. Throwing grenade. First unit is guaranteed to land the shot. Is there anything in here that we can kill? That's also no, there's not. So let's take out the thrall then. It's guaranteed the thrall is out. Kind of want you to dazzle in this room. That way we can disorientate some people on top of whoever is panicked too. And you can use a uh, toxic greeting. Yeah, I wouldn't do anything on them. Let's poison this booth though. I was disorientated and didn't take a shot. Ooh, we panicked the Codex too. I think we panicked the Codex last time we fought him also. It looks like from the last episode where there was that glitching gun, the Codex does still have this... See that does have like an effect on the gun that makes it glitch around. Now, what was I going to say? The, the... The way that I've been editing and recording these videos makes it better for me to talk about stuff that's happened in recent videos, but it also... When I go to edit them, I don't remember what I said, so I can't put it in the description. This, these are all pretty grouped up people. I can't psych up anymore, so I'll just go ahead and do this. Open this encounter right, I think. But then, damn, what was I just saying? Yeah, so I know what's I know what's happening video to video more, like while I'm recording the videos. But then when I go to how many people? You can only see three people from here. I'm moving right here, though. He might be able to see everybody. Yeah, you can see way more here. Still do lightning hands, though. First on this Cobra, because they have full health. Yeah, and I think I'd rather have it to where I can talk about the previous video easier than talking about the description, which I'm sure nobody's looking at anyways. 
Ignition. Like and he it. just cleaned up the whole room. Yeah, and the lightning can't lightning prime them to die. So I don't know where we were before with how many enemies were here. I think it was like 10 or 11, or at least there were 10 or 11 people in the turn order. So he just took out five by himself. Off Only got two left. Torque's going to take out one of them whenever he gets to her turn. That brute might die on his turn, too. That's fine. He probably wasn't going to shoot anyways. Already? Uh, First of all. No, not reload. First of all, use fracture. Creating a double. Now they do have that one ability that we just got ride. Sonically drain life from a target in melee range. This damage damages the target and heals the user. This is also usable by shelter sigh, whatever. Right. So I have to get close to them first. I want to try this out on them. Hello? The unit is not injured, so I have to take damage before I can use ride. They might die on that turn, so... Well, they're going to be last anyways. Relocate with the number six person. This will move them out into the open for everybody else to shoot at. And then... Uh, he, he can he can I guess he could just oh you could just use subdue or you can just take a no you can't take I'll just reload him. I'm reloading. There they go on their turn. And I guess we'll just have to Well we don't have to do this, but still it makes the most sense to go ahead and in the and she oh that was weird anyways go ahead and end the encounter just knock my mic closer to my face but that ends everything we didn't take too never mind i was gonna say we didn't take too much damage the violence is over but the di district will need time to recover keeping unrest to a minimum will keep this kind of thing this kind of fighting in the streets from happening uh this has happened quite a bit in this playthrough because I haven't been managing the unrest too well. Then we still have two districts that are pretty much full for, at this point, no reason. The square was once full of shops selling the kinds of things that don't matter anymore. It had been converted into housing during occupation, but the city council decided to put a modern spin on an old idea. Check it out. If you need old world memorabilia, sector kibble, and five kinds of pants on short notice, Instead of a guide to city, this local guide to city 31. I read it like it was going to end with the name of the place, like it didn't start the sentence that way. We have one free item out of the scavenger market. And the scavenger market is here. Take it a superior magazine or superior laser sight. I kind of want to take the laser sight and give it to Torque while she's on the team. Don't have anything to actually save the game with. The episode is definitely too long to keep going. Anyways, brings down unrest in all districts by one. I don't think Torque is a high enough level to do. Oh, not Torque. Terminal is a high enough level to do this. Is Patchwork though? Yeah, she is. So now Patchwork do this. And who else is? Then Terminal can go in here. Whenever he's done, Zephyr's going to go in. I don't even know why I have him doing it though, because he might not see the team anymore. But that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to follow and subscribe my other socials in the description and then subscribe to the youtube channel all right i'll see you next time